Hey everyone, um, I have just got back, literally just got back from um, the Rosemore Wool and Yarn uh, Fest. Um, hence why I have <laughs> chipped nail varnish. It's been cold outside, my chillblains are on full show and um, I'm covered in hair and wearing a manky old cardi, but you know, <laughs> I'm keen to show you what I bought so that I can get on and, <laughs> and play with it <laughs> rather than keeping it all neatly in its bag. So, you know, waiting to do a video on a day when I'm slightly more glamorous. Ain't nobody got time for that. I need to get my yarn in my stash and get playing with it as soon as possible. So I think I was quite reserved, although now I'm home. <laughs> not sure I was reserved, but I was making a real effort to not just buy all the things because when you go to a yarn show, all those hand-dyed yarns are amazing. And I already have quite a large stash of hand-dyed yarns and uh, I'm really guilty of never doing anything with them. So I tried to be practical <laughs> this time. So let me show you what I bought. I'm going to go yarn first and then I'm going to show you the contraptions that I bought, um, which I'm keen to play with and hopefully, um, yeah, shut up Robin, show the yarn. Okay, first off, I got this amazing, beautiful um, unicorn clouds. It is, um, oh, I'm trying to read the label through the screen. It's a four ply. Um, it's got quite long meterage. So it's 600 meters of this amazing, beautiful, hopefully it is showing up. It seems to be kind of showing the, the colors I'm seeing in real life. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I got this from Perrin Yarns. Um, they are online. I think you can buy from them online. Um, I have bought from her before at another yarn festival, actually. I've got a beautiful silk blend in my stash that I've never used because no project is ever good enough. So I thought I went for quite a beast with this one. It's very, very pretty. So this is a 55% uh, Superwash British Blueface Leicester. Ooh, ooh. Look, it's got that word silk. I don't know what any of this means, to be honest. I haven't got a clue. I'm gonna assume it's like a silk blend. I don't know, it's pretty. Who cares what it's made of, right? <laughs> Who cares? So I was quite reserved and I only bought one, just one from Perrin Yarns. So I think they're based down in Cornwall. I should probably have researched this where people are from before just launching into the video. But like I said, I'm impatient. I wanna play with this and the other bits and bobs I bought. So I will leave the links to everybody in the description box below. I only bought from three yarn sellers today, which is incredibly reserved. The next yarn I bought, let me just grab it out of the bag, hold on. I bought, oops, this amazing gray to yellow. If I put it on the table, you can probably see it a bit better. This amazing, and I love the name of this colorway, Arsenic Mine. It's amazing. I had um, Neva from Demelza's Delight. I'd never heard of her before. I've never seen her yarns before, but after seeing them on her stall, they were all stunning, all beautiful. I was really practical buying two of the same. <laughs> Normally I buy one and then it's not enough to do a project, but I bought two, oh, I bought two of these. Sock yarn again, I was trying to keep on theme. So this is a merino nylon mix, 425 meters in each. I'm thinking maybe shawl, scarf, I don't know, some sort of wrap maybe. I'd be interested to see how this actually works up. And also, how cute is this packaging? Little tiny ribbons, little tiny skulls. I'm assuming that's part of the, uh, the arsenic side of things. My daughter saw this when um, I came in a minute ago and she fell in love with it. So maybe I could make something for her, but she's 18 and you know, she's not really into crochet. So who knows? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I ha couldn't not have it. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. So I got these and then I bought four more. Hold on. From Fleabubs. So first off, I'll grab the other two in a second. I got two of these. This is acceptable in the 80s. Now, <laughs> look at it. I'm just gonna grab the other one. It's amazing. I am such a sucker for neon and this bad boy has got quite possibly every shade of neon you could ever want from a yarn. So again, I don't know what I'm gonna make with this. Who knows? But look, just look at it. 
I hope this is gonna work up absolutely beautifully. So I got two of those, again being nice and practical, and then I got two more from her, and heads up, it just gets brighter from this stage. I got, look at this. This is, I don't think it's showing you quite how neon it is in real life. It, it hurts my eyes, it's so neon. It's amazing. This is Chasing Rainbows, and yeah, it is super duper neony bright. Look at this, it's just stunning. So I got some of this, because I was like, maybe, maybe acceptable in the 80s would tone it down slightly if I used them together. Who knows? And then I bought, <laughs> oh, now this is not showing up well on camera. This is, Young Love. Now, the best way I can describe this yarn is it's like highlighter pens, um, like uh, late 90s, late 80s even, 80s, 90s. You know, like the highlighter pens and you get like the fluorescent pink, fluorescent orange for a, like neon. That's this. I wish it was showing up properly on camera. It seems a bit blown out. I don't, I don't know how to, it's probably a good thing actually, you need sunglasses for this. It is phenomenally bright. I literally picked the four most eye-blinding neon, just look at them, they're awesome. So this is my tiny, tiny little, I was quite reserved yarn haul, I feel. Start off unicorn, get this cool sort of gray to yellow to white, and then bang. <laughs> all the eye blinding neons down this end. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these. They are just too awesome not to have. So this is a yarn I bought today. So yeah, like I say, I think I was quite reserved, although I'm not, I'm not sure. I also got from Flea Bubs, um, she's got these really cool bags, um, which she popped my yarn in for me. So I quite like this, um, yet yeah, another little happy project bag to have stuff so I was wandering around with this for a while as well so I think Fleabub sells these too these little tote bags um I like I said I'll leave links to everybody down below so these are the amazing yarns I got and now I want to show you the the toys that I bought so I bought three things three things that I have never done before and kind of want to learn you know when you when you know you want to learn something but you don't have the equipment or you don't want to go out and buy it or whatever. These were all impulse buys, but some stuff I really wanted to do. And hopefully, what I'm thinking is maybe we could all learn together. <laughs> That's my plan. So, first up, I bought a hairpin lace loom thing. No idea what it's actually called. Hairpin lace, crochet hairpin lace loom thing. Uh, there are so many hairpin lace projects that I've always wanted to try but I've never had one of these and I'm lazy and I don't I couldn't be bothered to try and fashion one I know you can you don't have to use an actual loom but the fact I saw one it was only a tenner I was all over that like yeah I had to have that so I bought this so I am really excited to be able to do some hairpin lace crochet I've literally never done that before so like I say maybe we can we can learn together, maybe I'll be inspired and we can come up with stuff. Maybe we could do some sort of like, <laughs> I've never done it, you've never done it, crochet videos, <laughs> who knows? So I'm excited to play with this, definitely. And maybe even with some of these, who knows? So got that and I got, now this, I'm gonna start running out of space, is beautiful. This is, it's again a bargain it was only 10 pounds and I actually have some um like a base undyed yarn which I've been hanging on to for years because I've always wanted to dye my own yarn and uh, I saw this and I thought this is so cool using flowers I think this is um chamomile flowers but that are specifically for dyeing yarns and this is the color that my yarn should come out, in theory, I've been assured by the lovely gentleman who sold me this kit. He had other plant-based ones, but I really like these little flowers. So Badger Crafts, again from here in Devon, um, I will link to everything. And I thought as well, this would make such a beautiful little gift for somebody if they're into yarn and you know, you don't know what to buy people. It's, it's quite, you know, anyway, that. I thought maybe, 
you might want to it smells amazing too i wish smell a vision you can smell the chamomile through it i um i might when i get round to playing with this i might actually film it so you guys can join in with whether it worked amazingly well or whether it was a complete disaster but i'm i want to play with this definitely at some point so i got that i'm going to try and angle it so it isn't reflecting all that light back on you and then i got one more one more toy to play with quite a sharp one i put in my bag so i have bought a loom um, these are handmade looms. Um, let me move this out of the way, actually. It's a handmade loom. Um, he has this chap, he does the most amazing woven shawls. Like, he had these looms that went up to five, six foot. Um, he laughingly said this was a toy one, and I <laughs> thought, well, that's appropriate for me. It's small enough that I can learn how to do weaving. He was talking about classic weaving, like weft and I don't know the terms, but also there's like a continuous um, yarn way of doing it. Um, apparently you use a crochet hook. I know absolutely nothing about weaving. If anybody out there um, can suggest some, some great places where I can learn how to weave, that would be brilliant because I, like I say, I've never done this before. And there were so many beautiful woven things at the yarn festival today. And the drape of it was beautiful and it gave me like a real appreciation for for woven, hand-woven things. So I got a little baby one so that I can practice, basically. And I do like a triangle. And it is a proper, like a, you know, one that is like half a square. <laughs> I don't know the name. What's it called? Oh, I'm sure someone in the, co in the comments will tell me <laughs> what that type of triangle is called. It's, I know what it's called, but I can't think of the word. Oh, God. Anyway, that aside... I'm excited to play with this, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to go ahead and uh, play with this this afternoon or my hairpin lace little thing loom. Is that what that is as well? I've got a couple of like fiber new skills to learn, and of course, not anytime soon. But I want to do this because it's awesome, and it's yeah, I'm excited about this one too. I really wish you could smell this; it does smell amazing. So this is my haul from today um let me know if you agree with me that i was quite reserved i don't know if my wallet agrees that i was reserved but um I've definitely come back with less stuff than i have done in the past so i'm chalking that up as a win and like i say if anybody's got any great um hints and tips on how to use this spiky boy then definitely let me know in the comments because i've never done this before and um yeah if it works out this could be like a new craft for me maybe we could we could learn how to do all these things together so i hope you enjoyed looking at what i bought today i'll just move these out of the way so you are left with this glorious shot of yarns and that's it this is what i bought today at rosemore wool and yarn fest in north devon